Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install one of our Pro Photo Booth templates using DSLR Booth. Now the first thing you'll need to do is download your zip file from your members area on the Pro Photo Booth templates website. The design we're going with here is our Fade to Sparkle strips. Now if you extract the zip file, you'll see inside we have a background image, a coordinates file, your fonts file, and this will have all the fonts you'll need for that particular photo booth template. Each font can be downloaded for free from the links and will need to be installed before editing the text within the template. So back to our layers folder. This template has a graphics layer. It also includes the install instructions and terms file, an overlay layer, a preview file, and that's an image of what the actual template looks like, an editable Photoshop file named project, the DSLR booth XML document, a text PNG file, and this is just an example file with the stock text, but you can actually change this text within Photoshop. This template can be installed straight into DSLR booth without using any external editing software like Photoshop. All the text can be adjusted and changed from within DSLR booth provided you've installed the included fonts files. Next step is to navigate to template in DSLR booth. Now click import on the top left navigate to your template that you've just downloaded ours is on the desktop and it's called fade to sparkle strips and click open now you'll see your downloaded design ready to go with dslr booth navigate to the right to see the list of template layers the first layer is titled graphics you also have an overlay photo one two and three and they're represented by these three photo spots that's where your photo booth images taken by your software will be placed you've also got a text layer here you can hide this layer because we're going to adjust the text from directly within DSLR booth. And finally you've got your background image at the bottom. So the next thing we'll do is show you how to change the text from within DSLR booth. So firstly hide the example text layer and create a new text box by pressing the text button on the left. Now type in some text. Make sure you've already installed the fonts files from the template folder. This particular font uses Adobe Devangari. Again the fonts can be viewed from within the template folder. Now highlight your text and you'll just need to change the font to the font included with the template. So for this one again it's Adobe Devangari. Okay so there it is. Next you'll need to change the colour of the text to suit the design. So click on the colour box in the options window and drag the slider across until you get close to the desired colour. So. This is pretty close about here. Now I'll drag the text across to sit in the right spot and just resize it a bit to make it a little bit bigger. Just about there. Okay, that's great. And it's the exact same thing for the second row of text. So just select a text box from the top left, enter your text into the text field, and then again, just change the font, just like the other one. So it's Adobe Devangari. There we go. Now you want to adjust the color to match the last piece of text. So to do that, just click on your last piece of text, click within the color field and just copy the hex number. Just press either Control C or right click and copy. And then go back to your second piece of text, back to the color field and then paste in the hex number. This will give you the exact same color as the original text. So just drag that text across resize it to match the other piece of text, get it as close as you can, position it correctly, a little bit more resizing, that should be just about it there. Okay, so the third text field is in between Jack and Olivia, and that's a different font again. So type in the text, this time it's just A and D. Scroll down and you need to find the correct font. This time the font is Infinite Stroke. So... Perfect. And the same process as with the colour before, just paste in the hex number so it matches exactly with the other text. Now drag the text across and you just want to position this in between Jack and Olivia. Needs a little bit of resizing, then position it in the middle, that might be a little bit small. Okay, that should be about right. Okay, so there's one more piece of text, exactly the same process. Click the text box on the left, type in your text in the text field. This time we're using a different font again. 
So the font here is Bebus New. Now I hope I pronounced that correctly. So find the font in the font drop down. There we go, perfect. And then it's the same process with the color, just paste in the hex number. And that'll match the color in perfectly with the other text. Drag that across, and you just need to resize that a little bit, just get it how you like it. Okay, that still might be a little big. Okay, that's just about perfect. Okay, so after I'm done with the text, I usually go to the layers menu and lock all these layers because they're really easy to knock with the mouse, especially if you have a scroll wheel. So just go ahead and lock them. Fantastic. So that's everything for installing the DSLR booth version of our templates if you don't require any color changes and just want to install the template as is and adjust the text from within the DSLR booth. If you would like to know how to change the text colors and the background colors for use with DSLR booth, it's a very simple process. It can be done with very basic Photoshop knowledge or even none at all. Just follow along with our next tutorial titled Adjusting Colors for DSLR Booth. Thanks for watching. And if you have any support requests or concerns, please get in touch with us either on the contact form on our website or email us at info at profotoboothtemplates.com.